Today we're going to go over the uh, features and the installation procedures for installing Tech Team's number 921 four pack of top plate mount two inch ball casters. This is a simple do it yourself project. The only tools that you will need are a drill index, a power drill, and a number two Phillips screwdriver. Just to make sure we're on the right track here, there are two different ways you can mount a ball caster. One way is with a top plate, and the other way is with a stem. You can save yourself a lot of trouble if you take a good look at the two different types of casters, their features, and how they get mounted, as this will save you a lot of aggravation when you actually get into the project. This demo is going to be for the caster that gets mounted with a top plate. The ball rides on bushings and an axle that goes all the way through. The ball on either one is almost exactly two inches. It's nominal two inches, so here you're going to see it's, it's actually uh, 1.96 inches. I mean, how much closer can you get than that? It doesn't matter whether you have a top stem caster or our um, top plate mount caster. And if you want to do a metric conversion, that's uh, 49.8 millimeters. The roller is precision formed, heavy duty, high impact plastic. And both of them have a locking device that has an on off indicator so you know exactly what you're doing when you lock this thing up. And in these, you just turn this clockwise and bingo, you've stopped the wheel from turning and you've locked up your piece of furniture. With the exception of how they get mounted, uh, both casters are basically identical and therefore they both have the same antique brass finish and the same ball bearings so that they swivel easily. The locking lever has clever on-off indicators so you can uh, further know exactly what it is you're doing. The top mounting plate is 38.1 millimeters square. And if we do a little conversion thing here, we will see that works out to exactly 1.5 inches. The mounting holes are 1.12 inches on center. And since we all know that 0.125 inches is 1 8 of an inch, they are 1 and 1 8 inches on center. And they are 0.2 inches diameter which translated to a metric puts them at 5.1 millimeter diameter. Basically you have two types of legs out there. You have a round one which has been turned on a lathe. That being the case it has a center mark which is easy to locate. And then you have a square one where in order to uh, get the center mark on this one what we've done and we've done a couple extra little holes here anyway is we put cross lines in here from corner to corner and where those lines cross is the center of the um, of the leg. Here we have the, the mounting screw which is included with the set and we're going to measure the diameter of that and we see here it's 0.14 inches. That's the outside diameter of the flutes. Now since we know that 0.125 inches is 1 8 of an inch we're going to use a 1 8 inch drill to make our pilot holes. We can see here that the uh, the length of the screw is about a half inch, so we want to make our uh, pilot holes about a half inch deep. We've already worked on this, so this is just for example, so here we are making our pilot holes. Since the screw holes are really close to the, uh, the swivel base here, one of the things you can do is put the screw in the hole first, take your number two Phillips screwdriver, get it seated, and then start threading it into any one of the holes. Not, you're not going to make it tight, you're just going to get it most of the way. Now that you have that screw in, one of the things you can do is use the base as a template to drill your other holes. Now snug up all the screws, not too tight, you don't want to strip them out, and everything's going to stay in place. And you really don't have to worry because the, um, the caster is between the floor and the leg of the piece of furniture and it's not going to fall off. Bingo. All done.